Game Over 86 coming back with another video and today ladies and gentlemen this Friday I have another controller unboxing review I'm gonna show you a little bit about it today I am reviewing the Xbox One Duke controller brought to you by Hyperkin it works for your Xbox One and your PC or Windows 10 so today ladies and gentlemen I am going to be showing you and this is the green one I believe I believe it's a GameStop exclusive I could be wrong but I actually paid $49 for this it went down in price it used to be like $70 and I waited on it and I actually made a video about the Duke controller when it first got announced last year I did make a pretty critical review on it talking about how it wasn't that con you know comfortable of a controller and if they were designing it for the original Xbox, or were they going to bring it to the Xbox One, because that was yet to be announced. But now that it is out, and it is announced for the Xbox One, um, one of the key features in this is the original Xbox startup screen that is in the middle of your controller. But like I said before, we are going to unbox this, and we are going to review this to see just how well it works if it feels like the original Duke controller, and will it be good for its price. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing of the Hyperkin Xbox One Duke controller. So here we have the Xbox One Duke controller built by Hyperkin. Hyperkin does make very great quality builds. It does always have amazing packaging, just really staying true to that Xbox One Duke controller, the Xbox OG Duke controller. It comes very well packaged. I mean, it was 10 out of 10 when it comes to shipping. Um, it also shows the other stuff on who put this controller together and who helped build it. It also talks about, you know, how to hook this controller up with your micro USB to USB adapter. And if you guys are wondering, the cable is like the old school OG Xbox Duke controllers. I mean, it's 10 to 15 feet long, so if you if you guys were thinking a problem of possibly sitting back on your couch or hooking it up to your PC and sitting back away from it, um, there's going to be no problem. You're going to have enough room with that as well. The other thing that was really great about the controller, which I liked, is they they did a ex, pretty much an exciting job with the color, the sequences. Yes, there's some button changes, which we will talk about too. The things that also changed is you can't put the memory cards up at top of the controller where they used to go, but everything felt really, really original. Everything was very responsive, very clicky. The button controllers seemed very solid. The joysticks, everything was built great, obviously, but this thing is wired. One little thing I would like to say is I wish it would have been uh, wireless. That would have been really cool, and I know with the screen and the load-up screen of the Xbox One, it does seem like it would have changed but let's go ahead and look at that coming up about the startup xbox one original screen so here we're going to set up the xbox one controller i'm just going to show you in the video what it looks like i think we all know how the controllers play and handle everything was fluently everything was solid i'm going to show you what the main feature was with the new hyperkin duke Xbox One controller, and I think everybody was excited to see this. Now, another bummer to me is when I hooked it up to the PC, and a lot of this stuff a lot of people forget, as it does not come with a speaker or anything built in. Now, I do know that it does play the Xbox OG original theme. I think the only letdown would have been is if it would have actually played that music in your controller through I don't know, like a built-in speaker, that would have been nice. But I do understand that it would have been too big of a price, especially 70 bucks. But let alone, it was very beautiful, very, very unique. And if you want to leave it on the screen, you can. It'll stay there. If you want to keep pushing it for it to restart, it will stay there as well. It'll reboot the actual load Xbox original screen up every time, as you can see. It was cool. I really like the controller, but I would stay away from the $70 price range. I did pick this up and happen to get it on Amazon for $50. I know they sell them on GameStop, but GameStop's price was still $70. Bucks. So if I were you, if you really want to pick it up, you can. If it's under $50, I recommend getting it if you're a big-time Xbox fan or if you just like these controllers and want to collect certain things, which was unique. But we're going to go ahead and in the video and talk a little bit more in depth about what these buttons and changes do so let's go ahead and do that as well 
So there we have it, the unboxing review of the Xbox One Duke controller made by Hyperkin. I really did like this controller, the quality of built, um, and a lot of the features have changed on it from the original Xbox controller. The uh, LCD screen obviously loads up the original Xbox theme, which is cool, and the left bumper and the right bumper mirror the silver and black buttons over here, so you don't actually have to use them buttons anymore if you don't want to. Also, this is not a sponsored video, and they did not send me this controller i purchased this controller through amazon for 50 dollars. so if you guys would like to purchase this controller i will leave you guys amazon affiliate links in the description box below note full disclaimer that if you click them links buy this or anything else within 24 hours i do get a small commission so thank you if you do purchase something through that also, I want to say for all the returning subscribers and even the new subscribers, make sure you guys like and share this video. And if you're new, consider subscribing and clicking the bell for future content. I post my videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 o'clock Central Time here in the States. I love you very much. And question of the day before I leave, guys. Do you like the Duke controller? Do you plan on purchasing the Duke controller? Let me know down in the comments below, and I love you guys very much. I really do. I appreciate talking to you guys. I like making videos for everybody out there. It really does bring a lot of joy to my heart. So make sure you guys enjoy the weekend. Have fun playing any video games and every video game you guys play. Stay safe. Do a good deed, and take care of one another, man. That's what it's always about, and I love you very much. Game Over 86 is out, and I'll see you guys next Monday. I love you. Peace.